today we're going to make a necklace out of a bead. It's a beginner friendly tutorial. So we need two pieces of 20 gauge wire. Uh, you could do square or round. I'm using square. Um, you're also going to need about two feet of 24 gauge half round and then 28 to 30 gauge weaving wire. So I'm going to start with putting my my bead in the middle of my wire. This is about six inches of wire. And then I'm going to bring up both sides. And try and center it best you can. Just bring it up like that, and then I'm going to bring in another piece of wire, and I'm going to try and uh, make it even with these wires. So I'm going to weave on this side to begin with. Let me get my weaving wire out. And just go around um, your base wire that doesn't have a bead on it uh, a couple of times just to anchor your wire there. And then uh, I'm going to snip the tail end of this weaving wire off here. I'm going to take my pliers. I'm going to use short tweezer nose pliers by Zeron for this. And just tighten down your the tail end of that weaving wire there. And um, we're going to connect it on this side. It doesn't have to be completely even because you're going to have a little bit of leftover wire on both sides regardless what you do. So I'm just going to start my weave here. So you want to go over both wires three times. And then in between both wires three times. So it's just going to be three by three. Just keep pushing your weave together there. And then push it down fairly close to your bead there. Okay, as close as you can get to, to it there. So we're going to go around the 3x3 three three weave about four times. And I'm going to cut my weaving wire on this side and I'm going to leave a little bit of wire in case I need to add on later. This is a 10 millimeter bead, by the way.
So I'm going to go and do the same on the other side. But we're going to need to bend it. You want to go up behind, behind your bead. So just follow along the form of your bead. And then come up to this other side here. Just until you're satisfied with the way your band looks behind your bead and up the sides. Okay, I'm going to take my nylon jaw pliers and just run up the sides here. I'm going to use my weaving wire. And do the same weave again, which is three by three. And just push your weave down as close as you can get to your bead.
So I'm going to cut a length of weaving wire for this side too, in case I need to add on to my, my weave. So push your, your weaves down close to the, the hole through, that goes through your bead. Then I'm just going to cross these. as even as I can. And then I'm gonna bend this wire out of the way. And this wire. And then I want these two wires to be parallel to each other. So now is when my half round comes in. I want to add just a couple stitches on each side or a couple p patterns. So I'm going to go around with the 3x3 three three weave only two, two more times on each side. Do the same on both sides. And just put your weaves down as close as you can to your bead.
So I'm going to uh, get my half round. I'm going to get my half round going here. Make sure your the flat is down and the round is up. Because one side of your half round is going to be flat and then one side is going to be round. So I'm just going to anchor it three times, or you could do two, however however many times you, you know, you want to uh, wrap it for your anchor. I, I recommend at least two for an anchor. When you get your anchor on, you need to push the anchor down to about right where that little V is right there.
I'm going to use my bale of making, bale making pliers just to measure about how big my bale is going to be. If you think about it, it's got to go all the way around this, one of these sizes, right? So you want it to be about half of the size of, of your bale making instrument. So I guess I will stop right here. I'm going to bend this over and then put an anchor through here. So now we have our anchor. I'm going to put some decorations on this bead necklace. My weaving wires have gotten tangled. So I'm just going to trim them. Because we're only going to need these uh, for anchors, for our decorations, possibly. So I'm going to be in my veil around here. You want your bale to go through the opening we left up here. And then it's going to come back up.
So you're just going to bend the tail ends of your bale wire down like that. And then this guy we need to straighten back out because it needs to come over to this side. So I'm going to straighten it out with my bale making pliers. And then I'm going to gently curve it as I go. So, let's go ahead and cut these tail wires if we need them. We can use a, an awl uh, and that can help us to be able to stitch a design in or on to a frame. Just uh, secure your weaving wire. I'm using short short nose uh, tweezer nose pliers. I prefer the long nose tweezer nose pliers. But these are good for things like this. Okay, so I'm going to go on around. Try and run this one back in through here as I go. And then it's going to come back around and up behind our design here. Just going to go ahead and trim my bail wires off here. And then uh, we're going to run it around the frame here.
wires. So we have both of our wires are following each other here. So I'm going to uh, pull this one on through, which is the wire that's on the right side. And then I'm going to try and straighten it the best I can. And then this wire that, that's running from the left side, I'm going to bring it out. Only I want it to go around this side and then back through. So I'm just going to get my tweezer, my long nose tweezer nose pliers and I just want to clamp these two wires together back here where the bale is, is running through. I push my weave back down uh, here. And then I want these two wires to be as snug together as I can get and then I want where we brought this wire around I'm going to clamp this down try to finish bringing it through as far as I can and then I'm gonna clamp it together here just give it a light squeeze All right and then I'll bring this back through one more time, and then we're going to finish it off. Try and make sure it doesn't catch all of your weave. Okay. So now we have these, this side almost complete. I want to finish this side off. So I'm going to bring this up as close to this part of my, my uh, wire here as I can get it. And then I'm going to go on through with it. Make sure you hold these because it can often catch uh, and um, bend in the wrong direction. You can see how it's it's bending it uh, out. You don't want it to do that. You want it to stay in place as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this on around with my pliers just gently and then I'm going to bring it I need I'm going 
gonna bring it around with the with with my round nose pliers. I'm gonna trim this end. And then I'm just going to flatten everything down against my frame here. And this side I just want it to go on around. So I'm just going to bring it on around with my pliers here. So there's our beginner necklace. I'm going to put this in LOS, polish it, and I'll put it as a cover photo. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.